deposit money banks on uh, the 1st of August commenced the implementation of the Central Bank of Nigeria's global standing instruction, which allows them to recover outstanding debts of debtors from other banks. Experts say the implementation would help to differentiate real wealthy businessmen from debt to businessmen. A former president trade union congress, uh, Peter Esela, said the guideline was long overdue, but added it was better, than, uh, better late than never. He said the financial system has been abused and it is baffling that one man will be owing six banks in the same country. It can't happen anywhere else. He said it was because the banks were lending without collateral that they were running into problems. Joining us uh, live now on this is Bolahon Lujede, an economist. Thank you very much for joining us. Yeah, thanks for having me. Help us break down this development. Would you call it good news or somewhere in the middle? Um, I, th I think it's a good news. Um, I'm not sure that at the end of the day, um, it, will, it will make a dramatic difference. Uh, but it's a good news. It's a step in the right direction. Hey, it's what happens sometimes. You have uh, organizations, or even sometimes even individuals, they borrow money from a bank. They abandon the loan unpaid, or they abandon the account, and they move their operations to another bank. And they start running in another bank. So what this will allow the, the bank with the loan to do is to be able to take its money from that other bank where the company has moved to. So that is why it's a step in the right direction. My worry is that it will require uh, cooperation of the banks themselves to see this as a, as a fight that affects everybody and then be honest about dealing with it. Otherwise, um, if, if, um, if you are being owed and that customer moves to me and start doing business with me, there are all sorts of games I can play such so that you won't be able to take that money from me. There, there are all sorts of things that will happen. But that is an event that the banks are not cooperating. If all of them agree that this is a, an industry problem and they choose to approach it in that manner, it will help us a great deal. When, when experts say the implementation would help to differentiate the real wealthy businessmen from debt businessmen, what do they mean in context of this development? Uh, well, you know, somebody who has a loan, a huge loan somewhere, if you have a huge loan of 100 naira somewhere, and you move to another bank and you are doing business of 70 naira, technically, if you set up those two balances, that guy is still going 30 naira. He's owing 100 somewhere, he has 70 somewhere. So he's, he's still owing 39. That's a debtor, next, next. But on the face of it, if we allow him to abandon the 100 loan where it is, and he's just running his operation and activity in the other bank, then it looks as if he's, uh, he's doing well. But he's not doing well because he has created a hole in another institution which he has not paid. So if we are able to uh, create a situation in which the balance he has in one bank will be used to offset his loan in another bank. Then we'll be able to know how much he really has. All right. And, and, and why do you think we're embarking on this um, implementation only now? Do you think this is, you know, has been a long time coming? We should have done this a long time ago. Or, you know, is it perfect timing? I, I think it's been brewing for a long time, actually. It's, it's been in the works. Just that we have now got into that stage where we've been able to get the, the right legal framework and the backing. To, to implement because normally uh, there are other protections that made it possible in the past so what we have done now is to be able to uh, legislate such that we can bypass those other hiding places that this uh, this uh, investors or these business people are hiding behind all right, and also the former president of the Trade Union Congress, Peter Esela, said the banks were lending without collateral and they were running into a problem. How do we remedy this? Um, I, I, I think um, Peter Estella is not exactly correct. Um, the, the, the regulatory framework for banking does not allow uh, lending without collateral. Uh, so the collaterals are there in, in the real sense of it. But don't forget that banking is not about collateral. Banking is actually about, more about the cash flows. Contrary to what a lot of people think, that, oh, be, be, be collateral, I give them a house. No, no, bank is not interested in your house. Bank wants the underlying business 
to create the cash flow that will with which you will repay the loan. They don't want to have to sell your, your building. But the regulatory framework is there. Once a loan is above a certain level, except these are special loans. Even some of the special loans require collateral. So I, I don't think it's totally correct to say banks have been lending without, uh, without collateral. All right, and uh, quickly, if you can just um, wrap it up with this for us. I want to know how you feel this might affect investment um, in the country for people who have big business ideas, um, want to invest in telecoms, want to invest in, you know, in um, healthcare or whichever. Um, do you think that this might affect their uh, need to invest uh, simply because they have, you know, loans that they haven't paid? I, 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 know. I, I think what this will bring is um, better transparency in the system. It, it brings to the table the fact that there are no hiding places. You cannot go and create holes in certain financial institutions and come here and be playing clean in, in other financial institutions. So that will help to bring transparency into the system and will actually improve the confidence in the system rather than the, rather than the other way around. Bulaho Olojide, thank you very much for speaking with us. It's a pleasure. Thanks for having me.